welcome home. All right, so I don't know how this flew under everyone's radar, but Follow 3 and New Vegas got some updates on the Steam database about 30 days ago. Follow New Vegas, I believe it was 22 days ago, and it's quite interesting. And I want to share this with you guys because this could mean some big things for both Follow 3 and Follow New Vegas on Steam. Whether that be a update to make the games run better, like some sort of content updates, maybe an online mode to kind of bring in more co-op like they're doing with Fallout 76. I don't know, it could be pretty much anything at this point, but I wanna share this with you guys because it is pretty big information because this th these games haven't been getting updates for a very long time. So let's go ahead and look at Fallout 3's Depot first. And this is a Fallout 3 content update. It's 5.89 gigabytes. And you may be wondering, okay, that doesn't really matter. When was it posted? Well, let's go ahead and check. The last update was 24 days ago on May 8th, 2018. I don't know how this flew under everyone's radar. It is a follow three content update. So that is the first bit. But then we also have the follow three DLCs in which we see Steam database unknown app 461150. And if, and if we look at the last updated, it was updated 30 days ago, and this is an unknown app. So that means that they're hiding the name for it. They haven't given it a proper name yet. And we'll be going into what that means in just a moment. Then if we go to Fallout New Vegas, we have the, another DLC update here from 22 days ago, Steam Database Unknown App 461160. What does this mean? Well, normally what this means is that the game is going to be getting an update in the near future. So could we be seeing some sort of follow three and new Vegas co-op modes? Could we be seeing the games getting fixed finally? Uh, obviously you can see that the last updates were three months ago for some of the DLCs on new Vegas. And then for follow three, the last updates it got was three years ago. And for the actual versions of the game was two years ago and seven months ago. And that was literally just very small things. Now we're actually getting big content updates and a unknown app DLC. So what does this mean? Let's go ahead and look at Steam Database's FAQ page where they give a little bit of information for developers and publishers. And this is about the Steam Depot information. Wow, the amount of information that's public is rather worrying. What can I do about this? We hear this a lot and we can only recommend developers to be careful with what they put in the Steam database. For example, don't name your depots, branches, or even test apps to the actual thing that they contain if it hasn't been announced yet. This happened with a Civilization 5 expansion, which added by name to the database in January, but actually announced in March. Also consider contacting Valve on how to test unannounced content slash games on Steam without making stuff public in the database before actually interacting with the Steam backend. You guys leaked something secret. Ah, oh, that really sucks. We're sorry. However, there's not much that we can actually do about it. It's very important to know how to interact with the Steam product data backend before adding information to it. So what they're telling developers and publishers here is if you don't want this information to leak, don't put the information that will leak what it is. So don't name your apps. And that is exactly why these things are unnamed because they are unannounced and we don't know what they are. I wanna know your guys' opinions on what you think that these could be. And one really important thing here is that the Fallout 3 Depot update, the Fallout 3 content update is 5.89 gigabytes. So I really want to know what that could be. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this. And again, to give you guys a comparison of a game that doesn't have these updates, let's go to Fallout 4. And if we go to the DLCs, you see that there is nothing unnamed here. And the last update was about nine months ago. And if we go to Depot, the last thing was VC 2012 Redist. These are all the files that Fallout 4 needs to run. And this was last updated uh, six months ago. So. That, that just gives you some information on a game that doesn't get these updates. So Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas are both very old games at this point. And why is Fallout 3 getting a content update for 5.89 gigabytes? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say about this. I, I honestly don't know what they would be doing with this because there's no reason to put this on the Steam database if it's not something. So again, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. This is quite exciting. Maybe we'll be getting a Fallout 3 and New Vegas remaster. Maybe they're fixing the game so that, you know, 
they're not like hey you have to buy the remaster games in order to actually play the game but anyways guys that is it for this video if you enjoyed or got anything out of it please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fights if you haven't already so that you can stay updated on all this follow three and follow new vegas news as well as <laughs> follow 76 but anyways guys until next time this is apaxi signing off Today.